Hello everyone, thanks for joining us again. The industry over the past week busied itself essentially with gas and from the two live wire ends of the product, the revenue and utilization end and the infrastructure end. Of course, there are other very important in-betweens in the package. The Nigerian Gas Transportation Network Code is inaugurated to transform gas into a key component of the nation's energy mix and revenue source. Everyone in the gas value chain is involved, but what's it got to do with code? Find out in the story. The gas penetration part of this deal directly relates to deepening of domestic gas utilization, leveraging on private sector partnership, and more partners have risen to the occasion, as it were, to resolve OML 130 dispute. $510 million of gas revenue is to be immediately unlocked by this act, and there's more to it. Engineer Ferdinand Barryway is a very happy man at IDSL, and by extension, all of us for the triple barrel ISO certification, which had been in the back since first quarter 2020, and the brand new status will impact jobs. That's the outlook. I'm Akinya Bijile. This is All on Gas Forum. Let's take responsibility to stop the spread of the virus. Wash your hands frequently with soap under running water for about 20 seconds. Or use a hand sanitizer where water and soap are not available. Cough or sneeze into a tissue and dispose properly. Or cough or sneeze into your elbow. Avoid large gatherings. Keep physical contact to no less than 2 meters. And wear a mask whenever you are in a public space. Clean all surfaces frequently with disinfect. And if you develop symptoms like frequent cough, sneezing, fever, or shortage of breath, call your state emergency number or NCDC's toll-free number on 0800-97-00-0010. Take responsibility. Do it for yourself and the rest of us. This message is brought to you by the NCDC and funded by the NNPC IPPG team, an association of indigenous oil and gas producing companies. The federal government has inaugurated the Nigeria Gas Transportation Network Code, NGTNC, with the assurance that the code will open up the space for gas offtakers and ensure transparency for the benefit of the country. Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Timipre Silva, made the commitment at the launch of the Nigerian Gas Transportation Network Code, NGTNC, which is designed to enhance the use of gas as a catalyst for national economic development. Speaking on the significance of the NGTNC, Chief Silva said it would help to grow gas infrastructure, expand gas utilization, curb gas flaring, and provide codes to standardize the gas value chain in line with global best practices. The minister said the NGTNC was part of the key reforms instituted by the President Mohamed Buhari administration to expand domestic gas to power, gas to industry, gas to manufacturing, and mitigate the challenge associated with gas flaring in the country. This administration is driving key policy and regulatory initiatives that will enhance gas reserves growth to support domestic and export projects, expand domestic gas supply, and address the perennial challenge of gas flaring with its attendant waste and environmental impact. He noted that the gas codes will go a long way in deepening economic development, improve gas supply, boost liquefied petroleum gas supply, and attract more investment opportunities into the nation's gas value chain. Chief Silva commended NNPC and its gas subsidiary, the Nigerian gas company NGC, for partnering with the Department of Petroleum Resources, DPR, to meet the six-month target to bring the network code to life. 
On his part, the group managing director of the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, Mala Melikari, restated the corporation's commitment to working with the relevant partners and stakeholders in the oil and gas sector to boost delivery of gas to the domestic market. The NNPC GMD said the corporation was at the center of gas delivery to the domestic market, stressing that it was involved in all the available gas delivery infrastructure in the country, either directly or indirectly, through joint venture partnership. He said the inauguration of the network code was an opportunity to enhance gas delivery and utilization in furtherance of the federal government's objective of transforming gas into a key component of the nation's energy mix and revenue sources. We are very, very happy in the NNPC and we have given our consistent support to this process and to ensure that uh, to the full delivery of this process uh, to the end, uh, show the director of DPR that we are there to support him and to work with him to, to deliver him. Uh, lastly, uh, Honorable Minister, I, I can assure you that uh, uh, this is the beginning of progress for our industry, particularly for the gas, gas industry, because without this, you know, without having the infrastructure to transport gas from source to, to end users, you know, you would have been wasting our time and, and not def definitely not getting the value. So this marks the beginning of that opportunity. Earlier in his welcome remarks, the director of DPR, Engineer Sagaki Owolu, noted that the department has emplaced the network code platform and will continue to work with all industry players for the success of the NGTNC. We put the code in such a way that every Nigerian, every corporate Nigerian or individual have access to this code and have access to gas if he so wish. The high point of the ceremony was the unveiling of the Network Code Electronic Licensing and Administrative System, NCELAS portal, and the supervision of the signing of framework agreements between NGC, Gas Hub, and Dangote Fertilizer Limited by the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources. The Nigerian Gas Company will serve as the transporter, while Gas Hub and Dangote Fertilizer Limited will serve as the shippers with the Gas Aggregation Company of Nigeria Limited, GACN, in the role of agent as provided by the framework. The Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Timmy Presilva, has said that more public and private sector collaboration will be encouraged as Nigeria steps up efforts to realize its target of boosting domestic gas utilization. Chief Silva made this known while inaugurating the Reno Limited Liquidified Petroleum Gas LPG facility with a tank capacity of 8,000 metric tons in Ijegun, Lagos State. He said the facility, which also has about 40 LPG trucks, would help to deepen cooking gas penetration in the country in line with the vision of the federal government. It is so encouraging to see Nigerians at the commanding heights of this business in Nigeria, which is at the core of our economy as well. Speaking at the inauguration, Group Managing Director of the NNPC, Mala Melikiari, said the corporation was ready and willing to support all the companies that are making efforts in accomplishing the federal government's developmental agenda. And we at the NNPC are doing everything possible to pull the fiscal infrastructure from the upstream all the way through the midstream into homes and, and businesses. And you can't also achieve this alone, so you have to bring partners, you have to see stakeholders like Rain Oil to take position dual assets so that we can deepen the use of LPG in the market. So we're very happy to see this is coming up. There are a number of other stakeholders that are doing the same thing. And overall, in between this very short period of time, we'll see deepening of gas utilization in this country. It will cheapen the cost, cost, of, cost, of, cost of energy for the ordinary man, and including the businesses that we see. And we're happy that this is happening here today, and we congratulate uh, Reynolds. On this part, the group managing director, Reynolds Limited, Dr. Gabriel Ubechie, said the decision to invest in growing the LPG sector was in line with increased demand for LPG, otherwise known as cooking gas, in the last few years. 
So apart from this, we're also investing massively in the value chain. We are rolling out LPG skids, we are rolling out LPG plants, we are also investing heavily in LPG trucking. We will play our part. We are seeing the demand for LPG uh, ratchet up. You heard the minister when he said they are targeting 5 million MT per annum. In its bids to meet the target of revving up production to 3 million barrels per day and unlock gas revenues to the tune of about $225 million in the short term and $510 million in the long run for the Federation, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, has reached an accord with its partners, China National Offshore Oil Company and South Atlantic Petroleum, to settle all outstanding issues surrounding the development of oil mining lease OML-130. Speaking at the signing of Head of Terms HOT agreement with the partners at the NNPC Towers Abuja, the group managing director of NNPC Mala Melikari said the deal was part of the corporation's PSC dispute resolution and renewal strategy of 2017 aimed at securing out-of-court settlement of all disputes around the 1993 production sharing contract PSC and agreeing on terms for the renewal. The dispute arose from recognition of certain costs and discordant interpretation of the fiscal terms of the PSC by NNPC and the parties. We are doing this with every other partner in the, uh, in the PSC dispute uh, situation. Uh, we are not making no exception. We believe that we can close this uh, engagement and conversation with all of you. And more so, the ease with which uh, we, we reach understanding with the, with the Sinosa Petro Group you know, is uh, unprecedented. Uh, and that means that uh, we, can, we can easily have a closure. And that brought us to the signing of the HLT today. In his response, the managing director of CNOOC, Mr. Z. Vincent Wenschenk, said the agreement had opened a new chapter in his company's relationship with NNPC, stressing that it has provided a win-win situation for all parties. This one, the milestone time, it's meaningful, is, uh, you know, open or create a new uh, picture for the near future. On his part, Managing Director of Sapetrol, Mr. Tony Adenuga, said the resolution of the dispute was a very important step towards further development of OML 130 and other new fields, as the terms are now clearly spelled out. One of the things that this had impacted on in the past is future development of new fields, because the terms were not certain, and we needed to be sure that indeed we have the right terms for future investment. The Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center, CISLAC, a transparency advocacy group, has applauded the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, for making public its 2018 audited financial statement. The group, in a commendation letter signed by its executive director, Mr. Awal Ibrahim Musa Rafsanjani, stated that it was encouraged by the corporation's increased emphasis on transparency, accountability, and inclusion. Sisilak further stated that as a local chapter of Transparency International in Nigeria, it decided to acknowledge NNPC's stride towards deepening transparency and accountability because it was in alignment with its vision and advocacy. The group pledged its support for the corporation's commitment to repositioning the oil and gas sector and pursuing the passage of the long-awaited petroleum industry bill. The International Organization for Standardization, ISO, recently awarded Integrated Data Services Limited, IDSL, with the Integrated Management System IMS, which comprises of ISO 9001-2015 on Quality Management System, ISO 45001-2018 on Occupational Health and Safety, and ISO 14001-2015 on Environment Management System. As part of the new management commitments on assumption of office, to make IDSL operations conform to world's best standards and practices anchored on the transparency, accountability, 
and performance excellence mantra, steps were taken to ensure that IDSL becomes ISO certified. The managing director of IDSL engineer Ferdinand A. Barriway stood at this at the ISO award presentation ceremony. He said after attaining the ISO 14001 2004 on environmental management system certification in 2016, IDSL proceeded to acquire an integrated management system IMS, which is more encompassing to address more of needs within its operations and services. The IDSL, however, noted that the journey towards achieving this great feat was not an easy one, but with the support of IDSL stop management, staff and the resolute commitment and hard work of the IDSL ISO committee members, the strategic objective of becoming ISO certified was achieved in the first quarter of 2020. This award is very significant to IDSL in terms of standards, procedures and safety for us to work in the oil industry and anywhere in the country. With this, we are qualified to apply for work internationally and any of the IOCs in terms of standards, procedures and safety that we have in IDSL. The benefits of these ISO certifications are enormous as it places IDSL in a vantage position in the oil and gas sector. The MD noted that the new status will open up the company to attract more jobs both locally and globally. NNPC Retail unveils a range of superior quality engine oils for improved engine health, life and efficiency. The NNPC Lubricants, specifically formulated to give dependable all-year-round engine protection, cleaner engines, oxidation resistance and discrepancy, turbocharged for high-grade performance, suited for motorcycles, automobiles, medium and heavy-duty stationary units. Buy NNPC Lubricants, the energy to run for longer. And thank you for joining us on the feedback segment of the program. My name is Abigail Ojobo. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, through one of its downstream subsidiaries, the NNPC Retail Limited, went into the lubricant market on Friday, 28th of February, 2020, with the official unveiling of NNPC Rhino HD40 for diesel engines. NMPC Nitro Diamond, Nitro Gold, and Nitro Super 40 for petrol engines. Six months after the successful launch of the product, our roving camera is out to sample the views of dealers and retailers about the quality of the NMPC lubricants and to find out from consumers how the products are performing in their diesel and gasoline engines. NMPC is known for brand integrity. NMPC cannot compromise the quality. And I can assure you that the quality is the best you can get, not only in Nigeria, but I can assure you globally. The diamond, they have the polyters and they have the monitor of it. And people have been using it. I think it's nice. They recommend that the oil is very okay. So I can travel with confidence with uh, the oil. So I'm, I'm satisfied with the oil, and that's why I introduced them to my friends. The only NPC mega uh, filiation I use there normally do my service, and that place is very okay for me to do my service. Since when I'm using there, I didn't have any problem in my car. If they buy them, if the thing is good for them, they will just tell other people, like our product is okay. Because even, even yesterday, so some people when they come, they say they have never used this engine oil before. But one of their friends tell them that they use the engine oil, so the engine oil is good. People are patronizers and they control patronizers. And our sales have been improving on a monthly basis. We are showing an increase of not less than 10% cumulatively on every on a monthly basis. And that is especially of the top range of diamond, uh, natural diamond. Yes, so the demand is so high that customers keep coming back to buy and buy and buy. From the laudable testimonials from dealers, retailers and customers alike about the NNPC lubricants, 
Indeed, na NMPC burn them. And that's the much we can take. Please stay tuned for the other segments of the program. Hello, welcome to this segment of the program. My name is Faith Ayuba. Did you know that the 1977 Indigenization Decree made the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NMPC, to control majority stake in the entire Nigerian oil and gas industry? The NMPC's operations were examined by the 1980 Crude Oil Sales Tribunal and recommended the establishment of subsidiaries. Did you know that in 1981, the NMPC created subsidiaries for exploration and exploitation, refining and petrochemicals, gas, marine transportation, research and engineering? Despite the global oil glut in the early 1980s, the NMPC found itself on a stronger commercial footing now you know. Please stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Global Crude Oil Outlook. Crude oil prices fell after the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, said it envisaged demand to drop more than expected although data showing a decline in U.S. inventories lent support. Brent crude was down 26 cents or 0.6 percent at $45.17 per barrel after a gain of around 2 percent in the previous session. United States West Texas Intermediate WTI futures also lost 0.6 percent, a 25 cent decline to $42.42 per barrel which followed a climb of 2.6% during the week. OPEC said in a monthly report that world oil demand will fall by 9.06 million barrels per day this year, more than the 8.95 million barrels per day decline expected a month ago. Meanwhile, the market intelligence daily reports of NNPC's London office show that Nigeria will make substantial catch-up cuts it needs oil production in August and September to compensate for producing above its OPEC plus ceiling in May and June. The report stated that by the agreement, Nigeria will cut an additional 114,000 barrels per day in August and same for September, and the country will have complied fully with the OPEC cut production agreement. And that's it on this segment of the program. I am Owigo. Okolo. That's about all the stories on oil and gas forum for this edition. Thanks for joining us. What a bit of takeaways, as a matter of fact. Gas is coming to your neighborhood courtesy of LPG soon, so watch out. Responsibility is to keep safe. By the way, it's good to be back. See you next time.